channel for another update on my current household. So guys, as you all can see by the title, we are finally having that sip and paint event. Really excited about this because this is going to introduce some new characters as well as giving Tori an opportunity to get to know Darius's mom on a personal level. And I don't know guys, this episode is going to be kind of mixed with drama, kind of mixed with just like some fun gameplay. So go ahead, grab your snacks, grab your drink and get cozy because we're going to sit down and have some fun gameplay today. So I'm currently controlling Darius's mom because I want to be able to host this event in her perspective and have Tori as a guest, but I am also going to be controlling Tori as well. So Darius just dropped her off and she's really excited. Darius's mom is like, hey, I need your help prepping some of the desserts and the sweets and everything. And Tori's is like, oh, of course, you know, I'd, I'd love to help you. And great with kids, likes family motivated sims. Yes, she does. And I think that she's also going to um, go into a deep conversation with Tori because there is someone that's going to be at the sip and paint party that she's not really excited about coming. But, you know, she comes all the time and it would be wrong of her to ask her not to come. But she does mention to Tori, you know, hey, I have a guest that's attending tonight and she is in fact Darius's ex-girlfriend and some of you might be like well why does his mom still keep in touch with her why is she still allowed to be in the family all of this and that and that is because she's not just Darius's ex-girlfriend but she is Mia's best friend but Darius's mom continues to say you know I can ask her not to come tonight if she, if that makes you uncomfortable and Tori goes no 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 it's okay I, I'm totally okay with that I I'll be polite and respectful. It's not bothering me. You know, he's moved on. We're together and I, I, I can handle it. It's going to be okay. And she's like, wow, honey, you're so mature. I'm so happy that Darius has you. But I'm going to get these two in here to start prepping with some of the dishes. She told Tori just to make herself at home. So we're just going to kind of let Tori walk around, do whatever, while I get Gina in here to get everything set up. And I will try my best to explain Darius's relationship with Lily before everyone gets here. But um, let me just go ahead and get Gina in here to grab, you know, the wine and everything. And then I will explain to you all Darius's relationship with Lily. So Gina has gone ahead and started to pull out the bottle of wine. She loves her wine and she loves her snacks. So I'm going to get her to have those that way we have those for serving when it comes to the party tonight first we have this cheese board here very excited to have this out and then i'm also going to have her go ahead and prep some more appetizers i'm thinking we should probably make i don't know if i want to do sandwiches or if i want to do the fruit and chocolate pot but i think i'm going to go with sandwiches because people might be a little bit more hungry and they may want something else so i'll get her to prep this as well and now i can kind of explain to you all the relationship between lily and darius because i think the party's supposed to start at six so i do want to get this out the way before she gets here so this is lillian fisher lillian fisher the best friend of nia and the ex-girlfriend of darius Lily is the same age as Nia, which makes her two and a half to three years older than Darius. And that ultimately makes her four years older than Tori. And so she and Darius, they were originally just childhood friends. They grew up together because she, of course, was Nia's best friend. And she didn't really have a crush on Darius at first. He had a crush on her. And I dare say she was even his first love. And so they went to prom together. They dated in high school. And it was just one of those relationships where she ultimately thought they would end up together. But because of their differences and what they wanted to do in the future is what tore them apart. Now, I wish Darius was here. That way I could show you all what exactly his perspective on Lillian is. But it might have to wait till later in the episode. But ultimately, Lillian wanted someone who was, quote unquote, on the same level as her. And because Darius was not really sure what he wanted to do in the future, he knew that he didn't want to be a lawyer like his parents. He knew he didn't want to go into the medical field like his sister. He knew that he just wasn't passionate about college at the time. And so he went into the barbershop with his best friend, Mike, and that did not sit well with Lily. She was telling him, you know, I want you to have a career. I want you to be somebody that has a respectable job. And he told her, what's not respectable about a barber? You know, I change people's lives. I make them feel good. I can sometimes recommend hairstyles that'll be beneficial to people who are maybe experiencing like male pattern baldness. You know, he just really wants to make sure that people are happy and smiling when they leave his chair. 
And that just wasn't enough for Lily. So she told him that she didn't want to be with him anymore. And she broke up with him because of that. And I will say that Darius actually was very heartbroken over this relationship. He actually didn't date for a while. And then he came across Tori and the two of them started dating. And so he is happy now with Tori and he's not really considering Lillian as an option, not even in the future or anything like that. He's just really content in his relationship with Miss Tori. But yeah, that's that's what happened. And that's what kind of transpired between the two of them. And OK, it's time to start the sip and paint party. Yes, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and start it gone ahead and moved all of our snacks into the garage area so this is where the sip and paint is going to take place and i decided to do it in here because i personally feel like gina would just not really want anyone to even take the chance on getting paint on her floors or her carpet or her furniture and so she has it over here in the garage but we have these pink easels the ladies have painted these pink a long time ago Gina has been hosting these sip and paints for quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and get her to call everyone into the garage to have a drink. Yeah, and yeah. I really wish they would stay in here, but I'm going to go ahead and prepare you and say they'll probably be moving around quite a bit. But let's go ahead and get some music going. I think that Gina is going to turn on the soul station. We do have some young hearts here, but you know, most of the people that attend these sip and paints are Gina's friends from just the neighborhood and just coworkers and everything. So we have some older women here as well. Hang on a second, ma'am. You are not wearing what you were supposed to be wearing. What were you doing? Were you working out? <laughs> She came in here in her fitness attire. She's supposed to be wearing this. There we go. But here she is in person, guys. Lillian Fisher, the ex-girlfriend of Darius, the best friend of Mia. I would like to say that she has similarities to Tori, but also at the same time, she looks different than Tori. She has more of a softer rounder face. And I would say that she does try to appear as like I don't know like i don't know like just girl next door wants to be very much parent material family material wife material things like that and so she has a different style than tori does she wears majority of the time more business casual this could be because of her lawyer career but also because of how she wants the public to see her but yeah guys this is what she looks like and thankfully since she's here we can actually go ahead and take a peek at the relationship that she has with darius so i'm gonna go ahead and just go in here to action and control Lily that way we can see how everyone feels about her so let's start with Mike as y'all can see here Michael has bad compatibility with Lily he is just not a fan he knows that Darius was heartbroken after the breakup and the reason that she gave was just very offensive to him and so he has never really cared for her and he thinks that you know she can sometimes even be a bad friend to Nia just because of the choices she makes and how she's not really been there not the way she just did y'all see the way she just side-eyed totally Sorry. I know you saw it. I hope you did. If not, please go back and look at that because she definitely side eyed Tori. <laughs> Tori's over here just like happy to be here and attending. And oh my gosh, no way. I just saw that. So let me go ahead and go into her profile with Nia first. So we'll open this up. As y'all can see here, she is best friends with Nia, their childhood buds, and they're actually neighbors. So they live on the same street. And it's just crazy to me that they're actually neighbors. I didn't even think about that, but they, yeah, they do live on the same street. So let's go ahead and open up her relationship with Darius. This has some interesting things in it. As y'all can see here, it's awkward. They're broken up. They were childhood friends. She was his prom date. And who perceives who is attractive? Lily thinks Darius is very attractive. Well, you know what? This actually works out because the story that I had for them, guys, this is very fitting, very fitting. So Lily perceives Darius is very attractive. And I think the reason being is because she's starting to realize that she ultimately made a mistake breaking up with him. She has dated so many other guys and everything. And, you know, men with really, quote, successful jobs and worthy jobs and yet she still is unhappy and she's starting to realize that the reason she's unhappy is because she really did love Darius but she had her priorities mixed up but I'm gonna get her in here to kind of you know kiss kiss up a little bit and do the dishes for Miss Gina she's like hey Gina I got the dishes for you and Gina doesn't even hear her Gina's so wrapped up into a conversation with Tori that she doesn't even acknowledge the fact that Lily said something but we do have Darius' sister here, and she's really excited to see her mom and also Tori. So I'm actually going to have Tori go ahead and 
hug Nia and just say, hey girl, it's so good to see you. You look beautiful. I love your outfit. You know, just chat a little bit. And Lily, give them some space. <laughs> it's like, oh, is that her? She's like, I'll introduce myself. Okay. I mean, she was respectful. That was really nice. And she had a thought bubble pop up. Guys, what do you all think that she's thinking? I think she's probably looking at Tori and thinking to herself, this is his new girlfriend, you know, and she doesn't have any bad thoughts about her. She thinks she's beautiful, but she feels like, you know, she is much more worthy of Darius. And this is all personal perspective. I think that Tori is great for Darius and she's perfect for him. But in Lillian's perspective, she's like, mm -mm, I, I'm much better for him. I have my own house. I am established in my career. Didn't they say this girl was still going to college and she's going to be a chef? What? What? <laughs> like, she doesn't get it. But I do want to get everyone in here to paint. I wish there was a way where I could control everyone, but I'm just going to have Tori come over here and do a classic painting. We're just going to do a 50 50 painting and then I will also have Darius's mom come over here and she's going to do a flirty painting. This really is just to get everybody kind of in the spirit of just like hanging out together and just doing things. So I'm just going to control who I can. Hopefully the other women will come in here and participate, but I'm really excited to see how these come out. Oh, yes come in here girl get get comfortable this is adriana she lives down the street from um gina and they're actually really good friends they like to have collaborated barbecues <laughs> collaborated barbecues they like to come together and split the cost for barbecues and they'll cook for their families and everything it's really really cute hopefully i can actually share a barbecue event with you guys let me know would y'all like to see them have one of their barbecue parties and one of the videos coming up soon i think it would be really cool but oh there was one more thing i wanted to mention to you all so darius he actually doesn't have a bad relationship with lily you know there's that negative romance there but that's because she hurt him but he does actually have an okay friendship with her and he says hi to her he talks to her when she's here he didn't know that she was coming to the sip and paints though he had no idea or he would have told tori you know in the car <laughs> but it was very nice of gina to prepare tori for that and just let her know you know he, she would be here but I do want to see what, oh, is Lily still over here? She is still over here and she's painting. Oh my gosh. She's doing the biggest painting she could possibly do. That's so crazy. <laughs> but I do love how everyone's just having a good time. Nia, you're supposed to be in here painting. Girl, what are you doing? She's in here watching TV. Let me see if I can actually um, control her and bring her in here to participate in the sip and paint tonight. I think I'm going to have her actually do a medium classic painting. I love how... Gina's friends are just in here dancing. Go, Erica. <laughs> the moms of the block. There are other women who are also in the sip and paint, uh, sip and paint group, but they couldn't come to. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's other women who are in the sip and paint group, but they could not come tonight. So let me go ahead and show you all the rest of the members. So we have Kelsey. She's not here tonight, and then we also have Amaya, who is not here tonight, also, but. Normally they come and participate. That's why we have the extra easels out here and everything, but they couldn't make it tonight. So it's totally okay. But look at this cute painting, Tori. I didn't know you could paint. That's actually really cute. Oh my gosh, I want to keep it. That's so cute. <laughs> and then I love this painting that Gina's doing. Oh my gosh, these are all coming out so good. <gasps> I forgot that Nia was a painter. Oh my gosh, look at her painting. Tori, you have to take yours home. That's so cute. We can actually put it in our inventory and we can show Darius later. It's not poor, but I thought that was amazing. <laughs> but it looks like Tori's not having that much fun. So I'm going to get her over here to just dance a little bit. She's probably texting Darius. And I wouldn't say that she's bored. That just seems wrong, right? I think she just might want to have some extra fun and maybe dance a little bit. So I'm going to get her to dance. And we're actually going to put Gina's paint over here. That's actually really cute. I love that. How's their paintings coming along? Pretty good. Also, I do want to mention that James is here. He's just locked in the bedroom. <laughs> he chooses to not really socialize with Gina. And oh my gosh, wrong person. He chooses to not socialize with the girls. And, you know, he just gives them their space. But he just hangs out in the room, kind of minds his own business. And 
watches TV, maybe a basketball game or two, and just enjoys the peace and quiet. He he lets Gina have the whole house basically, and he just stays in the room. <laughs> but let's see how she's sobering up. She was like, I got a little tipsy on that one. Oh my gosh, this came out so good. It says poor, but I mean, guys, look at the quality of this. This is beautiful. Nia, you have to take this home. That's beautiful. I love it. Put it in her inventory. Not the way. Y'all, I feel like Lily was like, oh my gosh, my painting doesn't even look that good. Doesn't look as good as theirs. Let me go ahead and paint another one. She is a perfectionist. So let's actually go in and take a look at her traits really quickly. That way you guys can see it. But you can see here she's proper. She's jealous. She's materialistic. She's ambitious. She's business savvy. And she's neutral about having children. She also has the sage um trait which is from the major impressions personality sage sim seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation however their knowledge seeking nature might cause them to think too much and not act enough oh my gosh that's so fitting she also has a lover trait which says lover sims crave intimacy live to experience pleasure and are very passionate nonetheless with their desire to evoke love in others they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow Guys, if that was not accurate, I don't know what it is. That is so crazy. That is insane. Her traits are so spot on, even the ones that come from the mod. That is crazy. Crazy accurate. Uh, not the way she would have heard to paint another one and ended up painting the same thing. <laughs> Does anybody want any more wine? I'm going to go ahead and get Tori to grab a drink. I don't think that she's bored. This happens a lot of times when I control my Sims from other households. They end up with the bored trait. But... I, I don't think I've ever seen Tori board in my experience of playing with her. Maybe we can like, let's see what other stations are on. I'm going to imagine that maybe Gina just wants to spice it up a little bit. So we can turn on the hip hop station for the younger girls. Here we go. Tori's feeling flirty. <laughs> ah, just look at those bubbles. And then she also has good libration, libation, libation, I think it's how you say it. The intricate flavors of well-made drink can brighten any day. And she's feeling herself. Let's go ahead and have her actually send a drunk text. I wonder how he'll respond. I hope it's not negative. I think most of the drunk texts usually come out negatively in response. So we'll have to see. But Tori is getting it. Okay. Hi guys, so if I sound different, it's because I'm actually recording this a little bit later and since the last portion that you all saw where Toy was at the sip and paint, I have actually gotten sick since then. So if my voice sounds different, that is why, but Tori is here. It's about a day or so since the sip and paint and guys, when she drunk texted Darius, he was like, okay, I think she's probably ready to come home. Let me go pick her up. It is getting late. And so he went and he grabbed her. Tori actually ended up passing out in the car on the way home. And by the time she got home, she had sobered up pretty much. But she wanted to really bring up the topic that she had met Darius's ex-girlfriend at the Slip and Paint. But she was like, you know what? No, this isn't something that I need to be worried about. And why would I even give it that much attention? Like, he's clearly moved on. We're together. We're happy. Why, why do I need to worry about this, basically? So Tori has not told Darius that she has in fact met his ex-girlfriend, but you know, she she's doing that because she doesn't feel like there's a need to talk about it, you know? Um, but she, it, it has been kind of bothering her for a little bit now, not in like a negative way, but just kind of like curiosity. <laughs> and she's just really curious as to what happens because as curious as to what happened between him and her because I told you all but no one actually told Tori so I guess it's more so like a curiosity thing but nonetheless today we actually have some stuff on the agenda Tori is going to be traveling over to her father's house into his city and we're going to be visiting him and our grandparents I'm so excited for you all to see Tori's grandma and grandpa the two who helped raise her and just for you all to see her dad again because i know so many of you all liked seeing him and you're in love with him <laughs> so I, I can't keep him from you all too long so we're going to be heading over there probably after tori finishes this project here i'm trying to keep up on her schoolwork because i do tend to forget about it i think like i missed a term paper or something last semester <laughs> so i'm trying to stay on top of it but another thing I want to fill you guys in on is that she and Raphael were talking this morning. If you guys forgot, this is Raphael. Um, this is her friend from culinary school, and they've been friends since I think I said her freshman year of college. And he has a crush on her. 
just little tidbits, but <laughs> they have actually been talking because they're going to be graduating after the semester. And Tori was saying how fun it would be to, you know, get a group trip going and they can go to like Sulani or something, a tropical vacation or something like that. And she was telling him, you know, you can bring someone with you. I'll bring Darius more than likely. And they even said, you know, let's go ahead and invite Destiny. Destiny does not graduate for another, I think, year and a half, two years, maybe even. But they just said, you know, she's going to want to go. So invite her. So it's going to be a whole group trip. I don't know which episode that'll be. It might be the next episode, depending on how fast I go with Tori's college experience. But I just wanted you guys to be able to look forward to something. And I, I'm excited about the beach trip because it's going to be so fun. Um, but Tori has also been thinking about inviting Nia because, you know, she and Nia really bonded last night and she just wants to have a good time. She wants to have people that she can go out and she can drink with, you know, maybe even have like a girl's time or just celebrate and just have just a just a certain vibe going. And so she's thinking about inviting Nia as well. But yeah, this this is kind of what we have to look forward to. Tori is going to graduate, I believe, on Friday. So let me take a look at the school schedule. Yeah, so Thursday will actually be our last day of class. And I think on that day, they also take their, um, what are they called? Oh my gosh, their exams. <laughs> so she is going to be graduating relatively soon. And then she can finally get into her career. I'm so excited for her. I wanted you guys too to comment down below. Do you all want me to have Tori run like her own bakery? I was thinking about that, but I was also thinking of having her start off with like a food stall possibly and then going to like, you know, opening up her own bakery. But I just thought it would be really, cool, really cool if we could do a food stall. But yeah, leave your feedback down below. I'm going to let Tori finish up this project and then I will see you all at her father's house. So we are officially here at Tori's dad's house. I am so excited for you all to see her grandparents in person. We can kind of see inside the home now, but wait till you all get inside. I'm just excited to basically show you all what Tori experienced growing up, you know, just the relationships as well as her old bedroom and just the neighborhood in general is just such a nice spot so let's go ahead and hop on inside currently tori did text her dad and tell him you know i just got here can't wait to see you he said that he was at work and he should be home shortly but i'm gonna have tori go ahead and knock on the door her dog is not with her darius is actually going to be watching him for us i'm still getting used to the name darius is going to be watching zico but our grandparents are in here and tori is like oh my god it's so good and grandma has really changed this place Tori hasn't been back home since her freshman year of college and she's currently in her senior year so she's not been here for a while but just a little background information on why the grandparents live here so they all lived separately but at one point in time when Tori was a baby they lived together and then once Tori's dad became more established he was able to financially afford a house like this and so he and Tori moved out and they moved into the beautiful home where he thought that his family would continue to grow but unfortunately he never met anyone who really stuck but tori and him have many memories in this home and he eventually had to say goodbye to her because she moved on and had to have her own life and own adult choices and so he's been in this house by himself up until the point his parents moved back in with him his parents are getting older and so with health declining and just health obstacles he wanted to be as close as he possibly could so he moved them in and when he did his mother actually took it upon herself to decorate this house and give it a little bit of gail's touch so gail is her grandmother's name so let's go ahead and come on in and i'll give you guys a tour here shortly but this is her grandma and grandpa and it looks like grandpa is wearing the shirt that he got with gail on their cruise that they went on forever ago but look at him he's like hey baby girl and i'm gonna have tori go ahead and give him a big hug she's like hi grandpa i miss you so this is granddad granddad is also known as Henry. Henry is actually my husband's grandpa's name and so that's where that came from. <laughs> but this is Henry. He has been in the military before as well and he was able to get honorable discharge due to injury but he is so happy to be his granddaughter. A supportive dynamic. Yes of course. He's like so you gotta tell me how everything's been. I heard you got yourself a new boyfriend. You know 
I gotta meet him before things get serious. <laughs> and Tori's like, I know grandpa, I know. Now, again, this is Gail. Gail is actually my grandmother's name. And so she is named after my grandma and also the aesthetic of her is true, in fact, to my grandma. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and give her grandma a big hug. She's like, hi, I missed you all. She's like, why did it take you so long to come back out here and see us? <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've just been really busy with, you know, just my education. I have a lot of textbooks I have to go through. You think I wouldn't because of culinary, but yeah, they have us reading so many books. It's it's really stressful, but I'm glad I could come out. And Tori's asking them if they're gonna come to her graduation. Of course, Grandpa's like, yeah, we wouldn't miss it. Um, I think your dad should be here soon. You guys can hang out and everything. Are you are you staying the night? And Tori actually is in fact staying the night. She did go ahead and bring her suitcase as well as her laptop so she could work on her homework here. But she's just saying to Grandpa how she loves what Grandma has done to the place. So while they sit here and chat, I do want to give you all a tour. So the room they're currently in is actually Tori's dad's room. Now, I think I mentioned this before, but he is in the military career. So I do feel like he's pretty much like clean cut, not a lot of clutter. He just likes things very simple. So this is his bedroom. He does have his workout equipment in here. I feel like it probably was in another bedroom, but when his parents moved in, he just moved it over here in the corner. Coming into the bathroom, he has the double vanity. And I do want to give a disclaimer that he was going to let his parents have this room, but they insisted on him staying in here because this has been his house for so many years and they didn't want to come in here and just change things around and have him move. He really tried to just tell them it was fine, but they just insisted on him staying in here. Um, this room over here is their washer and dryer room. We have the formal dining room. Now, this room is what Tori's grandma worked on the most. Look at this chandelier. Let me get on eye level. Do you all see how beautiful this, this chandelier is? It's so pretty. So again, when Tori's grandma came in here, she just decorated and the first place she attacked was this dining room situation. Now, you know how your families or families you may know have that one room where it's like the sitting room or the formal dining room. This is that room. So my grandma has a formal sitting room and a lot of us don't even like sit there. It's just there for looks. So this is that. This is the room for looks. And, you know, when they have company over and it's a big party or an event, they will have dining in here. But if not, they will actually dine at the table that you all saw in the kitchen over here. So this is what the kitchen looks like. And then this is the table that you all saw Tori's grandpa eating at. So they'll normally eat here. They won't go all the way in that big room and disturb the table or anything. One of my other favorite rooms is of course the living room. It has Gail's touch all over it from the rug to the plants to the decor. This is 100% how Tori's grandmother envisioned this living room always. Now before she came in here and redecorated, Tori's dad had a sectional, it was like black leather big flat screen tv just hanging on the wall and grandma was like no 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 we we are gonna we're gonna clean this up a little bit <laughs> and she took it upon herself to just decorate this the best way she knew how and i like it i think it's very nice in here does it feel like Tori's dad's house not really but you know he's not really here as much and his parents are and so he wanted them to be comfortable so it looks like this I think it's super cute and definitely fitting for grandma's touch you guys kind of got to see it but the door here is um Tori's dad's work room this is where he just gets a lot of his stuff done for his military branch career and he also listens to his old music in here it's just a very simple room like, coming down the hallway the door in the middle is the bathroom the door on the right is the grand parents room and the door on the left is Tori's old bedroom so we're gonna go into Tori's room first and this is what it looks like now again it was a lot more cluttered but because of dad's strict environment he has decluttered a lot of things but he still wanted his baby girl to have a place to lay her head whenever she came in and visited so he left her old bed up he left all of her pictures up on the wall and it's just crazy to see like her bed sheets are still the same ones that she had in high school and this is what tori's bathroom looks like and this is the bathroom that the grandparents use as well it has a linen closet a tub shower combo um a nice vanity sink and then over here is the toilet and then coming to the door over here we have the grandparents room again with the pop of color grandma is just very iconic for doing that 
But yeah, I feel like Tori is just going to make herself at home. I love how Granddad is in his vacation shirt. That's so cute. But we're going to drop off our suitcase in this room over here. I think since doesn't really need to access this side. We can just open it up here. So I'm hoping that this actually lays the suitcase on the ground. Yes. Okay, perfect. So she opened up her suitcase and in here we just have a little bit of our things that we will need for this trip. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it around. Also, if you guys are curious how I did that without going into build by, you grab the object and then the arrow keys that are above the space bar, alt and the FN key. They're kind of like the comma and period key. You'll just hit those and it'll rotate your item. So that way you don't have to go into build by. Um, but yeah, just a little fun bit right there. So we have our suitcase open. So that way we can go ahead and get comfy. I think Tori's going to change into something a little bit more comfortable since she is here at her dad's house. Oh my gosh, none of her pajamas are really like <laughs> grandparent friendly. I mean, we could wear this one. This one's okay. We'll wear this and oh my gosh she's so pretty i love her but i feel like oh my gosh dad's home yes let's come in here and show appreciation and then i'm also gonna have her just give her dad the biggest hug she is so happy to be back home and a little part of me is actually happy for her to be here as well oh he looks like he had a bad day but hey you should be happy your daughter's here he's like oh hey baby when do you know i'm sorry it took me so long to get home work's just been super busy and uh, his dad's like, hey, at least you're making that money now. And he's like, no, but still, <laughs> he he really can't wait to retire. But Tori's no. going to be like, dad, I missed you. I know I just saw you recently, but it's so good to see you again. And he's like, oh, oh my gosh, everybody's hugging. <laughs> but I think Tori is actually planning on making some dinner for everybody tonight. Grandma and grandpa were snacking on this bowl of chili, I want to say is what it is. Oh, Franks and beans, but I'm gonna have Tori actually make some dinner for everybody and just serve something really yummy since dad had a bad day. So Tori is in here whipping up everything for dinner, and I'm not gonna lie, she's very happy to be back here in San Sequoia. She moved away because of college originally, but now she's really reconsidering moving back out here just to be closer to her family and I don't know how Darius would feel about that because Darius has only known the suburbs and just the city area. Um, not that San Sequoia isn't the suburbs, but his version of the suburbs, like, you know, he just has only known that neighborhood. But I really hope that he would because she misses home and she just misses being around her family. And it is quite a long drive to get back out here. So I'm hoping that maybe he'll be open to the idea because... They could try long distance for a little bit until he'd be comfortable coming out here, but that would just be kind of fresh. But Tori has gone ahead and made dinner. It looks amazing, but let me help you out, Tori. I'm actually going to drag it over here. So that way we can just have everyone grab their food from the plate here instead of the table. But she's like, hey, everybody, dinner is ready. Come get it. And I don't know what kind of day dad had, but I feel so bad for him. So, guys, grandma and grandpa would be joining us. But unfortunately, Wicked Whims is doing what it does best and they can't join us right now. <laughs> But, you know, I can have Tori sit here and talk to her dad. Now, I did go ahead and start to control him. And I can see now that he's actually not sad from work. He's just sore. So he probably just wants to hop into bed after this. He told Tori, you know, let's get together tomorrow. Let's do something. We can go out to eat or something like that or hang out. And she's really open to the idea. She is going to just, I guess we should tell a joke and just tease him about, you know, uh -huh. becoming an old man or something like that. Remember when you was a young buck dad, you would come home every day just ready to go. You would go to the gym after work and everything. She's like, you can't do that now. He's like, you're becoming an old, old dude. <laughs> He's like, stop. I'm still your dad. I'm still young. I still got it. Today was just a really hard day. And she's like, I'm just joking. Um, but we can complain about textbook costs. I'm just going to have her just talk to her dad just about everything. And I do think that tomorrow we might bring up the idea that she is very much so considering moving back out here. And I don't think that he would be upset about it. I think he'd be more than happy about it. He'd probably let her have her whole room back. We could stay here for a little bit. I don't know what Darius plans to do, but he would definitely not be allowed to stay here. Tori would be able to stay, of course, but Darius, no. <laughs> Her dad 
dad is not going to let them two live under the roof together, but we're going to clean things up. It is getting quite late. Like I said, dad had a really stressful day at work today, so he's probably going to hit the hay and I'm going to have Tori put the food away. Hopefully grandma and grandpa can take a breather and grab them a bite to eat. <laughs> All right, guys, so Tori is waking up bright and early this morning. I'm thinking about having her get a head start on some classwork that she had to do. Everyone else is still in bed sleeping, rightfully so. So we're just going to pop our laptop open right here. And I think we're going to go ahead and, like I said, get started on some university work. She is supposed to hang out with her dad this afternoon and I think also spend some time with grandma. So that should be fun. But before we do any of that, we do have to go ahead and check on all of our schoolwork that we have. I'm also going to have her miss class today just because I want to spend time with her family. So we'll have to make up for that later. But it looks like grandma is waking up and oh my God. <laughs> grandma feeling different after last night. I could cry. I could cry. Well, grandma, there's a reason that you're hungry and it's because you chose to do what you did last night and miss dinner. <laughs> but dad is waking up. I imagine he probably says, good morning, baby girl. What you doing in here? Click clacking that laptop, huh? And she's like, yeah, what you doing on your phone? He's like, oh, nothing. I set my playlist for the day, but Hey, you wanted to hang out, right? And she's like, yeah, dad, what should we do today? And he's like, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to do here in San Sequoia. And she's like, how about we um, grab a bite to eat? Maybe go to like a museum or something. Check out some art and everything. Grab some coffee. He's like, whatever you want, baby girl. We do whatever you want. It's fine. But before we do any of that, I'm going to work out. So if you need me, I'm going to have my headphones in. But just come get me if you need anything, okay? And she's like, okay, dad, <laughs> but let's go ahead and get dad in here to start working out. I'm going to have him just do all the workout equipment he has in the room. And I just think that he is so happy to have his daughter back in the house. You know, it's been a while. So to have her here and to feel like she's just back at home is just making his day. I also need to help him and actually put him in his workout attire because <laughs> I forgot, right? There we go. He looks much better. <laughs> but yeah, I think he really is enjoying her being out here and it's going to make him so much happier once he finds out that Tori actually wants to come back home. Grandma is the only thing you know how to make beans and what is it called? Beanie weenies? What are they? <laughs> Franken beans. <laughs> Grandma only makes Franken beans nowadays. I don't know. I guess she she put up her her cooking her cooking skills and hasn't checked them in for a while. But uh, I'm tired of the bean <laughs> Franken beans, Grandma. <laughs> I guess Grandpa likes them though. And she's like, everybody come get a bite to eat. Made Franks and beans. So we're just gonna pass on that. We'll we'll grab us like a bowl of cereal or something. Thank you though, Grandma. <laughs> um, she said a real hearty breakfast this morning, guys. I guess. <laughs> But um, after she finishes typing the rough draft of her paper, we should probably be able to head out with dad. Tori is getting hungry, so I was going to get a bowl of cereal, but maybe we can grab breakfast somewhere or like catch a food stall or something like that. And also, she hasn't talked to Darius in forever, so we should probably text him and see how things are going. He does have the dog, so we want to check in and make sure everything's going okay with that. Um, but maybe should we video call him? Hmm. I kind of want her to video call him because she hasn't seen his face in so long. Oh, Grandma, are you okay? All them Franks and beans you're eating. Oh, I really, I just don't understand the Sims sometimes. Dad, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Grandma just threw up from them. <laughs> Put those away. <laughs> we don't need everybody sick in the house. Granddad is like immune to them, I guess. I don't know. So Tori just got out of the shower, so I'm going to have her go ahead and video chat Darius like she was going to. And she's like, hey, babe, how's, how's everything going? He's like, good, I miss you. And a part of her really wants to bring up the idea that she is wanting to possibly move back here. But at the same time, she wants to talk to him about this in person. So she holds back on saying that to him, but she's like, I'll be home soon, babe. Just uh, try to hold it together. But I wanted her to come over here to the suitcase and change outfits this way. Let's see what we have to wear. It is kind of a hot, but it's also cloudy today. So what should we wear for an occasion like that? I mean, mm. but then also I'm thinking about wearing something like this, like something basic and simple. So let's have her change into this because it's kind of warm. So the shorts and the crop will actually work out better. And then let's check on dad. Oh my gosh, guys, he's eating the tainted beans. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm so happy we're having a father daughter day. <laughs> 
grandma and grandpa can come she's like you dressed and ready he's like yeah of course don't you see <laughs> she's like yeah dad so let's actually get ready to go um just gonna use the restroom if you want to go ahead and start up the car you can he's like yeah how about we go feed the ducks today i want to go check out the duck pond i'll show you where i go it's like a good fishing spot too she's like okay that's fine dad <laughs> So Zori and her dad just arrived to the area that he was referring to. She remembers the spot just like it was yesterday. She's like, oh my gosh, he should have just said the area where he used to take me to the splash pad. Tori has so many fond memories of being out here in the summertime with her dad and just playing in the water area. Now, it did look a little older back then, you know, not as modern as it does now, but it's so cool she really wants to come back here and possibly you know have kids with darius and have them experience the same splash park that she experienced and just such good memories and so i think that she is ready to talk to her dad about this and i believe that he'll handle it properly i told you dad not to eat them beans <laughs> but i think that he's gonna handle it fine and you know be on game with helping her get back out here so we're gonna reflect on our life choices and this is just tori saying you know i know that i made the decision to my way and at the time it really seemed like a good idea and i thought that i would stay there forever i love my apartment i love my neighbors i love the neighborhood but dad honestly I miss being back home. He's like, you should come back. I would love for you to be back here. We could spend more time together. You could spend time with your grandparents. I would love for him to move out here too. But dad, what if he says no? What if he doesn't want to come out here? How do you handle a long distance relationship? I, I really love him and I don't want to lose him. And Tori's dad goes and says to her, now listen, honey, if you guys are meant to be, it will be regardless of the distance regardless of all of that it will work out i know dad but still it's you have to move a certain way when you're in a long distance relationship you have to make sacrifices and do certain things and things that we're not used to i'm used to having him there every day and if he says no to coming out how am i supposed to deal with that and he's like you don't even know if he'll say no you haven't even asked him have you and she's like no i haven't but i gotta talk to him when i get back i guess because i really want to come back out here dad oh my gosh dad really can't stop putin i told you i told you stay away from the beans <laughs> but you know he seems really happy about tori coming back out here she's saying that she'd probably have to move everything by car and he's willing to help her he's willing to come out there with his suv and help her move things help her clean the apartment and everything like that and just get things ready he's like you know there's some apartments that opened up down here and he says to her you don't have to move into them you can always come back home you can always stay in your room darius can't live there you know he can he can figure it out but you can come back home and she's like i know dad i know <laughs> and he's like but just just let me know keep me posted on everything and we can figure things out i'll even put the down payment on the apartment if you want to have your own space and after this conversation, she's feeling so happy and so excited, a little bit more confident within the topic of moving out here. And just to be around her silly dad again would just make her so happy. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this part right here. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to become a tugboat if you aren't one already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.